Hey everyone, my name is Nolan, and today I'm going to be giving you guys beginner tips for all new beginners for Pixel Gun 3D. I've had quite a few people ask me to do this video. Hopefully it's not too late and you guys have lost interest, but I am now finally doing it. Also, these tips could help you guys if you're just getting to level 65, because, yeah, um, you may just be getting to level 65 and you're wondering what the heck to do from here. So, let's just jump into this. So, as you guys can see here, I'm level 28, and I have, like, a lot of awards to collect, uh, because I haven't played on this account in forever. But as you guys can see, the more you level up, the more you unlock these game modes. So, yeah, what you're going to want to do is try to get to, uh, I believe, level 4. No, no, no. It's actually just, like, in level 2. You're going to want to unlock mini games because mini games are one of the best things that you can do to get XP. Because the first tip I'm going to give you is to get to level 65 as soon as possible. Because what you guys will notice is that upgrading weapons cost gems. And and gems are in very short supply. You want to spend your gems very wisely. Um, so getting to level 65 as soon as possible with upgrading as few weapons as possible saves a lot of gems for level 65 so you can upgrade as many weapons to max as you possibly can. So I believe co-op co survival gives you XP. Parkour gives you XP if you get first place. Block crash gives you XP if you get first place. There's a lot of different game modes that give you XP if you win, um, and Arena is one of them. And the best part about it is you don't need to upgrade any weapons to do it because all the weapons are automatically balanced with it. Another one is Battle Royale, which comes right after mini games. Battle Royale uh, also balances out weapons. Um, so you don't, as you guys can see, it balances out weapons. All weapons will be maxed when you use them. You don't have to upgrade any of your weapons. And you can win XP by not even taking first place. You can also take a lower place and you still get XP from at least getting like third or something. So now, of course, you guys may be wondering how you get gems. Pixel Gun 3D has changed drastically even in the last month. Um, free currency is a very good way to get gems. I believe refreshes every 12 hours and you get 30 gems every 12 hours. So if you watch all the ads, that's 60 gems a day. So if I do some quick math, that should be about 1,800 gems a month, which is a lot of gems. Especially if you're saving most of those to you get to level 65, you will be able to upgrade a lot of weapons instantly and start wrecking games. So definitely take advantage of free currency. Another way is clans. Definitely join a clan. Uh, even if you just contribute a little bit, um, you, it's still a nice way to get extra gems because every week uh, you get gems. Even if you get last place, it's still gems. So join a clan. Don't just join and do nothing. Make sure to join and actually do stuff and contribute to your clan because, yeah, you want to actually do that. Also, in the clans, you can get some really cool rewards. You can get coins. You can even buy weapons in the black market, which are significantly cheaper than in the armory the armory is always changing so i don't really want to recommend weapons you guys can get however um yeah buying weapons from the armory is honestly probably the one of the worst ways to get weapons i'm not gonna lie so that kind of comes up to my next tip here don't buy weapons from the armory take advantage of nice deals from the trader's van this is not a very good deal this is very expensive um, but yeah, Trader's Van sometimes have some pretty cheap weapons. The Lottery is a very good way to get uh, some quick beginner weapons because in this Novus chest here, there are quite a lot of weapons you can win. They are not the best weapons in the game, however, they are free weapons you can win instantly, and they at least get you kills so you can level up and stuff like that. However, even Hellraiser is decent for getting kills, so I mean, you can't really complain too much. Uh, Void Ray Rifle will get you kills, um, Icicle Minigun will get you kills, Deadly Beat will definitely get you kills. So yeah, definitely take advantage of the lottery, because 50 keys is not hard to get, and neither is, I think, 10. It's 10 for a Novus Chest. So this does actually bring me up to my next tip. Um, don't, yeah, like I said, you don't want to buy weapons from the Armory, however, I don't actually recommend you buy weapons, uh, at all, because, um, the whole point is to save all your currency until you get to level 65, so if you're winning free weapons, just use them until they become really bad, and they don't get you kills anymore, and then try and go get another free weapon from, like, the lottery or something, but then again, I recommend you play mini games because then you don't have to worry about upgrading weapons. I know it, it it's a, it's a big pain, it's a big pain. But once you get to level 65, it's smooth sailing from there, okay? And by the time you get to level 65, you might be able to get your first gallery weapon. So my next tip is kind of a shameless self-promotion. Check out my what you should get from the gallery for 1,000 coupons video because 
selecting your first weapon for that can be very, very crucial. Also, know what you're getting before you buy it. Um, for example, this weapon is not that good, and it could waste you around 400 gems. This weapon is really good, and it is definitely a good buy. So just know what you're getting, watch weapon reviews, because those could save you quite a bit of money. Also, one thing I just remembered is that armor is going to have to be upgraded a lot, otherwise you will die almost instantly all the time. So, the armor is going to be taking a lot of your coins and gems, so that's just another reason not to upgrade your gems, or not to upgrade your weapons, because then you'll be taking that away from your armor, which in my opinion is a bit more important. Also, definitely play tournament, because tournament can unlock some great rewards for you. For example, the burning tiara uh, is significantly good for like increasing damage, jump height, or whatever, um, and can definitely improve your gameplay. Pumpkin Mask is a mask that you don't actually have access to, but when it comes back, it's definitely a good mask to get. I'm trying to see here if I can find it for the sake of the video, but doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Yeah, no, but Pumpkin Mask increases damage by quite a bit. Um, and then the cape, the custom cape, is a nice cheap way to get your get a player bonus. Um, it increases weapon damage, jump height, and movement speed, and it's pretty cheap to get, so I do recommend getting the custom cape. And also, the Berserk boosts are a, ni a nice way to get some extra movement speed and melee movement speed, um, so yeah, highly recommend Berserk boots. Completing tasks can be a good way to get some easy rewards. Alright, so here's a tip that's probably going to bug a lot of people, but here on my main account, if I go into the gallery, you guys will see I have not uh, collected any of my, like, a lot of my gems. I have, like, thousands of gems stored in here, and here's the reason. Pixel Gun 3D does not have a confirmed purchase button, so if I accidentally upgrade a weapon, those are a lot of gems going to waste, because I can't get those refunded. So if I just never have those gems in my inventory to begin with, but I have them stored somewhere else, then I don't have a risk of spending them. So for that reason, I keep all those gems uh, uncollected in here, so that way if I end up accidentally running out of gems or spending my gems, I can just come, come in here and collect them for a purchase I actually want to make. It's really easy to spend gems in this game, and not spending them is the best thing you can do, honestly. Also, go through and complete the campaign on hard mode because it will be the best way to maximize your rewards, and there's also some nice free gems and coins you can get in there. Also, one final tip I can give you guys is that weapons may seem exclusive, but the thing about Pixel Gun is they almost always come back. I always come back. Like, a lot of weapons that you can buy and offers and stuff are, they seem exclusive, like, but they were at one point Battle Pass weapons, and they just brought them back for money. So don't feel like you missed out on a special offer because you didn't buy it. Um, it's probably going to come back at some point, except for if you're new and you have the Harsh Punisher offer, definitely buy that, because that will be a huge boost. Um, I never bought that, unfortunately, so I, 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 I'm sad, because I wanted it, because Harsh Punisher is probably the best sniper in the game, so... Definitely buy that if you get the chance. However, battle pass weapons, limited time weapons, you guys may think you need to spend money or gems to get them. However, they'll be back at some point, so maybe wait till level 65 until you can buy them. Except for maybe ultimatum. That's another one that doesn't come back, like, ever. Okay, one final tip, again, with self-promoting. If you want to know what weapons are really good, check out my top 5 playlist, okay? <laughs> That's my, pretty much my final tip I can give you. Alright guys, well I hope this video helped. It's definitely mainly for beginners, but maybe you guys can uh, take some of these tips away for yourself, especially if you're new to level 65 and you're wondering what to do. Um, these tips can still help you. If you guys did find this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more Pixel Gun content, and I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Peace.